Hello everyone! This video will show how to change the standard form equation of a line to its equivalent two intercepts form. So pretty much we're given the standard form of this form ax plus by equals c. We're supposed to change it to its two intercepts form x over a plus y over b equals 1. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to linear equation. Before we go over some examples, let's have a review on the basics of standard form of a line and the two intercepts form of a line. Standard form. This is having a formula ax plus by equals c. Now we remember that our a should always be positive. This standard form is generally used to determine the x and y intercepts of a line. So if we have here this line, it touches on this point on the y-axis and this point on the x-axis, we can determine the coordinates of these two points using this standard form. On the other hand, we also use this standard form in solving systems of equation. So if we are given two intercepts of the line that is 0B, which is our y-intercept, and A, 0 as our x-intercepts, we can use the formula x over A plus y over B equals 1, where again our A is the x-intercept and the B is the y-intercept. This is called the two-intercept form of a line or the double-intercept form of a line. Okay, going back to the example right here, we are given this standard form 2x plus 3y equals 6. And then again, we're supposed to change it to its equivalent to intercept form. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this equation down here. In the standard form of a line, the right side of the equation should equal to 1. So that tells us that we are supposed to divide the right side by 6. And if we divide the right side by 6, we're going to divide 6 to each of the terms on the left side. So then we go ahead and simplify this. We remember that there is 1, 2 in 2, and there are 3 2s in 6. And so there's one three in three, and there's two threes in six. So then we go ahead and rewrite this as that's going to be one X. So we don't have to write the one. So it's just going to be X over three plus that's going to be one Y. So that comes out just Y over we reduce it to lowest term, that's over 2 is equal to 6 divided by 6 is 1. So this is the equivalent to intercepts form of this general or standard form that we have up there. Now we remember that our x-intercept is 3 and our y-intercept is 2. This tells us that the line crosses the x-axis on 3 and it crosses on the y-axis at 2. So I'm going to go ahead and write that information down here. So our x-intercept is at 3, 0, and the y-intercept is 0, 2. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. We are given this standard form. Again, we're supposed to determine the equivalent to intercepts form for this. So I'm going to go ahead and write that equation down here. Since we wanted the right side to be equal to 1, so we go ahead and divide this by 15, divide this by 15, and we divide this by 15. Again, we are supposed to reduce this to lowest term. Now, the other way to reduce this to lowest term is that we remember that our x or the coefficient of x on the numerator should be 1. So we go ahead and divide this by 2. If we divide the top by 2, we divide the um, denominator by 2 as well. And so this comes out. That's 2 over 2 is just 1. And so it comes out just x. And that is over 
15 over 2. So just keep it as fraction. And then we do the same thing for the other um, term. We divide, since we wanted the coefficient of y to be 1, so we're dividing this by 5 and we're dividing this by 5. So then this comes out minus 1y, so we don't need to write the 1, that is over 5, 15 divided by 5 is 3. We can go, and then this is also equal to 15 divided by 15 is 1. Now what we do next is we will change this into a plus. So this comes out x over 15 over 2, and then that would be plus y over negative 3. So we have a positive and a negative makes it negative, and that is equal to 1. And this is the equivalent to intercept form of this standard form that we have up there, where our x-intercept or the line is going to cross at 15 over 2 on the x-axis, and it's going to cross on the y-axis at negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write that information up here. Please remember that this is the coordinate version of the x-intercept and this is the coordinate version of the y-intercept. Did you get the same answers as this? Yay! Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this equation down here. Again, we wanted the right side equal to positive 1, so we're dividing both sides by negative 5. And we also remember that the coefficient of x should be 1, so we're going to divide this by 3, and we're going to divide this by 3. The y coefficient should also be 1, so I'm dividing this by 4, and I'm also dividing this by 4. So I go ahead and rewrite this equation as... So this is the equivalent to intercept form of this standard form that we have up there, where our x-intercept, or the line, is going to cross at negative 5 thirds on the x-axis, and it's going to cross on the y-axis at negative 5 fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!